Hello and welcome back to the Internal Library Meditation Series. If you'd like to skip this introduction, the meditation will start at the one minute mark. Locate yourself somewhere where you're unlikely to be disturbed, and when you hear the bell, the practice has begun. You'll hear today's consideration, followed by long periods of silence, during which time I'll occasionally check in to remind you of the practice. I'll let you know when we've reached the final minute, and, when you hear the bell for the second time, the practice has ended. As always, these meditations are free for everyone. I don't ever want a lack of money to stand in anyone's way of their cultivation of focus, presence, and peace. But, if you do feel called to make a contribution in some way, you can find PayPal and Venmo links in the description of this video. All donations are greatly appreciated. And now, on with the practice. Let's set up our posture just a bit here before we begin. Sit up straight, but not too straight. A little ease here is advised. And try rocking forward and backward a bit, making these movements smaller and smaller until you find a happy and comfortable medium. Now, do the same with your shoulders. Roll them around some, and make these rolling motions smaller and smaller, until you, once again, find a happy and comfortable medium. And finally, your head. Alternate letting your chin rise and letting it drop, and, as before, gradually reduce the range until your head finds that light, happy, comfortable medium. And for today's practice, we're going to take a long tour through your senses. Sense meditation is another classic style of meditation that you're likely to encounter quite frequently in this space. This is for two reasons, both of which are similar to why breath meditation is so ubiquitous. Our five senses are virtually always with us, making them superbly convenient tools. We can focus on our senses when we're inside or outside, when we're alone or with others, when it's daytime or nighttime, on the ground, in the sky, underwater, even in our dreams. We're almost always sensing something. The other reason is that our senses are necessarily in the present moment. We don't feel the past or the future at least not directly. What we feel, see, hear, smell, and taste is an experience that we are having now. And being in the now is the most foundational principle in meditation. That which takes us to the now is the way in. The senses function for this perfectly. Our practice today will consist of exploring each sense on its own for a minute, followed by a slightly more subtle exercise, which I'll explain when we get there. Ready? Let's begin. Our first sense will be our sense of seeing. Take a moment, with eyes open, and just look around the space you're in. See the objects. See the lighting.
see the space between objects. And now, sensitize yourself to the colors around you. Do you see blue? Green? White? Brown? Pink? Black, orange, and now shapes. What shapes do you see? Round shapes, blocky shapes. Irregular shapes. Now the reflectivity of objects. How shiny or matte are they? And finally, see the whole space as a single field, letting go of the differentiation between things. See like you're looking at a 3D painting. And now, our sense of hearing. If you'd like, you can close your eyes and tune into the spaces around you. Notice sounds from the air. Sounds from far away. Notice sounds that are composed of higher frequencies. Sounds that are composed of lower frequencies. Next, notice sounds that are intermittent, coming on and off. And also, can you notice any steady sounds? Maybe sounds you've tuned out. Tune back into those. And finally, hear all the sounds around you at once, like you're listening to a symphony. Hearing is a two-part process. The first step is merely hearing. The second step is decoding the sound, estimating its source, location, movement, etc. Can you relax this decoding instinct? Simply hear the sounds for what they are. Our third sense will be feeling. Feel the seat or surface upon which you are resting. Feel the temperature of the air on your exposed skin. Feel the clothing on your body, on your back, your legs, arms, 
your chest. Feel the strength of your musculature as you sit up tall. Feel any discomfort in your body. As well as any pleasant feelings. Now see if you can feel a subtle energy moving beneath your skin. What does that energy feel like? Perhaps in your hands, your feet, or your face. Is it a buzzing, a tingling, an electricity? Or does it just feel like life? like presence, because that's exactly what it is. Like with the sound, just feel for another moment and drop the reflex to immediately interpret the feelings. Just feel them. We've got two senses left, which can be blended together quite nicely. Over the next few breaths, take in the different scents and aromas around you. As you breathe in softly, what can you pick up from the air around you? Our sense of smell is one of the fastest to acclimate to our environment. So there are likely smells around you right now that you aren't noticing consciously. Breathe in. Smell what's there. And now continue breathing in smelling the air, and allow the air to stimulate your sense of taste. Smell and taste are deeply connected. So if you pay attention, you can often taste whatever it is you're smelling. As you inhale, gently through the nose, what is the air Taste like. Spend a few more breaths exploring this. Beautiful. Now that we've touched each of our primary senses, let's move on to that subtle technique I promised earlier. What we're going to do is systematically blend our senses together. First, tap into your vision again. Notice the shapes, colors, and shadows. And now, while still noticing your visual field, let in your sense of hearing as well. Notice vision and hearing simultaneously. Now sense your vision and your body simultaneously. Let these two senses blend together.
And now, hear and feel together. Now here's a tricky one. Feel, hear, and see all at once. And notice how your mind responds to this instruction. What's it like to pay attention, fully pay attention, to three senses at once? Feel, hear, and see whatever is here now. Okay, go ahead and let that go, and we'll try again. This time, focus on your breath. Breathe in and out a few times. And once again, start to smell the air around you as you inhale. Now incorporate taste. Smell and taste the air together. Once you're smelling and tasting, add in your sense of feeling. Feel the air coming into and out of your nose as you smell and taste it as well. Again, three senses at once. Feeling, smelling, tasting. Notice how the mind handles this kind of focus. And finally, let's put it all together. Hear the sounds around you. See the light before you. Feel your body here. Breathe in, smell the air, keep breathing, and taste the air. All five senses at once, hearing, seeing, feeling, smelling, tasting. Can you hold all of these senses simultaneously? Now, go ahead and let that all go. Just rest. Don't do anything in particular. Don't even meditate. Chill out. From here, start to re-engage. Return to the here and now. And how was that for you? What was it like trying to balance and process all that information consciously? If you found it difficult, even impossible, you're not alone. Our conscious minds aren't used to holding that much information closely. But our unconscious minds do this all day, every day. Our unconscious minds are always in this state, always listening, 
watching, feeling, smelling, and tasting, keeping us as safe as it can, as well as keeping us engaged in this wild world of ours. I hope you found value in this exercise, or at the very least, a little appreciation for just how powerful your unconscious mind really is. Thank you once again for taking time to cultivate your focus, your presence, and your peace, both for yourself and for the rest of us. Take care, and I'll see you next time.